channel, so I'm back with the weekly grocery haul. So there was only one substitution today and it worked in my favor. I got this brand of Extra Sharp White Cheese, which um, I've gotten this before. A lot of you guys were like, that's a really good sub. And whenever I made, um, I'm making fancy mac and cheese, whenever I used it, it was really good. So I was excited to see that they subbed this for today. So as always, my meal plans can be listed down below. I also have a coupon uh, code down below if you guys haven't tried the Walmart grocery pickup service yet. It's $10 off your first order over 50, which I say it every week. I love this service. I use it every week. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, super duper recommend that. But I guess I'll start over here. So I got some stuff to juice. I have juiced on and off for the last few years. It is a little time consuming and so I typically kind of fall off of it, but I wanted to try juicing this week. I was going to buy just kind of like a like a green powder because that's just way more convenient, but um, I do have a juicer, so I thought I oh, might as well just buy this up and, and try to juice this week um, and see if I can kind of get it back into our rotation. So I got a big bag of kale. This is already washed. It says triple washed, so I shouldn't have to wash it. I'll probably rinse it off though just because I'm kind of funny about stuff. So big thing of kale. Also some spinach. I'm also going to use the spinach for the fancy mac and cheese. And I also got some apples. The apples are for juicing as well as just snacks and stuff for everybody. And then some carrots as well as some cucumbers right there. So that's typically what I put in our juice, just kale, spinach, apples, carrots, and cucumbers. And then I also had to get a jug to store it in. So it's right there. And then I got some more cuties for um, everybody. I bought a bag last week and I think we have like two left. And then some grapes, this looks really good. They're not like super on sale or anything, but um, I love grapes so I wanted to have some. Pineapple, pineapple was like 98 cents or something like that, so good price. So I got a pineapple and then two pounds of strawberries. These were an okay price, I think like $1.50 um, a pound. So grab some of those. Also got some romaine lettuce that is gonna be for um, some chicken strip wraps this week for lunch and some tacos. And I think that's it, but I need to get some more of that. Also on the meal plan this week, we're gonna have pulled pork sandwiches. So we still have that in the freezer from whenever Matt made it last time. So I just needed some hamburger buns and then we're gonna make some coleslaw on the side. So I just got this tri-colored coleslaw and then I have the other ingredients to make it. Um, I do need some lemon juice. So I got some one lemon for that, but I have the vinegar and like salt and pepper and sugar, I think, and mayo. So that's all you need for that. And then again over here, gonna make some fancy mac and cheese. So I have some wide egg noodles for that. And then one ham. I'll just cube this and cook it in our skillet and then to kind of like pre-cook it and then I'll add it to whenever I make the sauce and the, the noodles and stuff. And then I'll also put a handful of spinach in there. And then I make this really yummy topping for the top of it, like um, with pink, panko breadcrumbs and butter and some Parmesan cheese and Italian seasoning. It's so good, love that. And I also, we're gonna have a side salad. That's the other reason why I got the lettuce. Got some cookies, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good about doing like the Sunday dessert thing, but sometimes y'all, you just need some chunky chippers. So got two bags of those. Also, I'm uh, gonna have wings, that's what this is for. So I bought the wings from Costco, so those are in the freezer. And then we got some seasoning for it. So we just got the sweet heat rub. I'm gonna try that out. And then some wing sauce. Really like just the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And also gonna have it with some tater tots. And then also I'm going to make um, cheeseburger mac. So I only needed a pound of these elbow macaronis, but they didn't have it available, so I had to get two pounds, which is fine, because it'll just live in the pantry until I need it. Also I needed a can of tomato sauce. And then it said two to three cups of sharp cheddar cheese. So I just got um, one pound of it, because I think I need it for something else. Maybe not. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember, but anyway, got that. And then also one onion. Back there, I needed some more peanut butter, so I just got a small container of it, and some sugar, uh, super low on sugar. I probably buy sugar, I don't know, once or twice a year. Uh, two gallons of milk, and then I got Connor some cereal, just some frosted shredded wheat, the great value brand, which I haven't tried before, but I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. Also, we're gonna have double-decker tacos this week. I already have the tortillas in the uh, pantry, and then I have the ground beef in the freezer that I get at Costco. So I just needed the taco shells and taco seasoning. Also, 
a can of refried beans that is going to be for the double tiger tacos. Pretty much it's just a tortilla that you, that you warm up and then you spread some refried beans on it and then you put the taco shell inside of it with the ground beef taco mixture and then like lettuce and cheese and whatever else, sour cream, whatever. So, and then I also got one more um, can of it because Matt's always wanting like some refried beans to make like breakfast tacos and stuff in the morning. So got an extra one of those. Some cornstarch, which actually should have been with this. Matt's gonna try some new technique where you like toss the wings in cornstarch and like other seasonings and stuff before you grill it. So got some of that. Also needed some contact solution. And then some garlic bread. What is this for? Okay, so the garlic bread is for the fancy mac and cheese. And, oh, and then the lasagna. I have a crock pot lasagna in the freezer, so we need some garlic bread for that. So anyway, so that is everything I picked up today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.